Father, blessed be your name, O God. Thank you for another wonderful, wonderful morning. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy, O God. Thank you because you have been a good God. You have been a great Father to us. Thank you for watching over us throughout the night till this morning. Good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching us from, wherever you are joining us live. We just come here every Monday morning to appreciate God and to prepare our minds for the new week. And we want to appreciate God for that mercy that has bestowed upon us to see a brand new day, to see a brand new week. And we want to appreciate God for that. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we worship you. King of glory, we adore you for your goodness, for your mercy over our lives in our homes, in our families, over our homes, over our children, over our husbands, over our wives. Father, we want to say thank you over every family member that is connected to us by blood or by marriage. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you that we are not hearing evil news concerning any of our loved ones. We just want to say thank you, Lord, this morning. As we are in your presence this morning, we ask, oh God, come and have your way. Take control and let your name be glorified. As you're going to speak to us once again this morning, Father, we pray that, Lord, our hearts shall be receptive. And I that you're going to use as a vessel. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will speak through my mouth even to your people. Even as we worship, oh God, we pray that, Lord, our worship shall be acceptable in thy sight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' awesome and wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. This morning, <clears throat> this morning we're going to be, you know, digging deep into the Word of God. And, um, Thank you for everyone that is joining us this morning. Thank you once again. This morning, the word that the Holy Spirit gave me to share with us, to prepare our hearts for this new week is God of miracles. Hallelujah. God of miracles. God of miracles. He is a God of miracles. I'm sure you can agree with me that he is a God of miracles. For you to be looking at me right now on this live facebook live it is a miracle for you to that you can you can see me you can hear me you can understand what i'm saying you can quite grasp it and you know understand what i'm saying that means you you quite understand what is going on and that is a blessing on its own it is a blessing please give me a second it's 
sorry about that <laughs> my light just decided i'm gonna go a different route this morning sorry <laughs> so for you to be looking at me and to be understanding what i'm saying and to know to grasp that okay this lady is saying something and you're quite understanding what i'm saying means you're a miracle on its own you are god's miracle you are a miracle that you slept last night while you slept you don't even know what's going on you don't even know how you woke up this morning you just you just knew that you heard the alarm that something is ringing beside you and you open your eyes but between the last the time you slept and this time you woke up you don't even know you have no clue what happened but you opened your eyes to a brand new day it's not a new day that is a miracle and i want us to i want us to think about that deeply this morning and know that we are living miracles of god is a god of miracle indeed a god of miracle he's been a great father to us in every in every way and we cannot but afford we cannot but say thank you to him we cannot but give him all the praise that is due him praise the lord hallelujah this one like i said is a god of miracles we're going to be reading some of the miracles that he performed some of the things that are unique that we can point to in the word of god that shows us this god is a god of miracles i pointed one to you already that you are living and you can see me this morning it means he's a god of miracle you are a living breathing miracle hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord this morning i want us to look at matthew 1 matthew 1 matthew chapter 1 verse 18 matthew chapter 1 verse 18 this is talking about the birth of jesus okay that even his birth on his own is a miracle the birth of jesus itself is a miracle likewise the birth of each one of us here on earth is a miracle right but his his birth is so unique that it's not like how we were born of course our father and our mother came together you know to create us to have a seed you know our fathers gave our mothers the seed through conception through intercourse and she con our mothers conceived and we came, came about as a baby in their wombs and we came about as babies we were born right but um jesus was not born that way it's it's a unique birth story in matthew 1 verse 18 it says now the birth of jesus christ took place under the circumstances when his mother mary had been promised in marriage to joseph before they came together she was found to be pregnant through the power of the holy spirit the holy spirit consummated mary and she became pregnant very mysterious very very mysterious it is not the normal scientific way of conceiving but he came to be and he came into this world live like human beings like you and i and perform millions and millions of miracles that on its own is a miracle now if that doesn't tell you that we serve a god of miracle i don't know what else <laughs> i've given you two examples now i don't know what else can tell you is a god of miracles secondly i want to look at um his first physical miracle that he performed here on earth john 2 verse 11 john 2 verse 11. 
John 2 verse 11 says, These, the first of his signs, John 2 11, These, the first of his signs, miracles, wonder works, Jesus performed in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory. By it, he displayed his greatness and his power openly, and his disciples believed in him, and he adhered to, to, trusted in, and relied on him. I read, I'm reading in Amplified Classic, by the way. Amplified Classic. The first of his signs and miracles that he performed was in Cana of Galilee at a wedding where he turned water to wine, right? We all know that story. But he said when this sign and when this miracle happened, he gave his disciples, you know, he gave them through that miracle, he displayed his he displayed his greatness and his power openly. Usually in the Bible, we don't see Jesus doing that. He doesn't want to let people know, oh, I'm the powerful one, I'm the most, I'm the God, the, the Son of God, I can do anything. Mm -mm. He's not a bragging kind of God. He's God in his own class. He doesn't need to brag to anybody. <laughs> Hallelujah. He doesn't need to brag to anybody. He's God in his own class. Nobody can measure with his class. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, he said in this way, he, he, he displayed his greatness and his power openly. And his disciples believed in him. He made them to have more trust in him and say, oh, okay. This man called Jesus, wow, okay. This really shows how much, how much powerful, how, how mighty he is. Hallelujah. They are there to trust in in and relied on him now that word relied on is what i want us to i will, I will talk a bit about it because i'm i'm running out of time now but I will, I will share it in a couple of minutes another example in the bible i want us to think about to see how mighty god is how miraculous he is in his might when i read this story i had to go back and study it the three Hebrews in the Bible, their story is so unique that displayed the power and the might of God. He is a God of miracle indeed. When I cook in the kitchen, the strength of um, fire is so strong that even if you are not close to what you are cooking, the heat, the heat itself, if you are like not even close to the gas or, or anything. In the kitchen alone, if you are sitting down by dining, the heat that coming that is coming from the gas that is lighted up, that is cooking, you can feel it where you are sitting because that heat is filling that space. Now think about putting three human beings with their clothes on everything and dropping them, dumping them inside a fairy furnace. <laughs> I went to research on what is a fairy furnace. A furnace is something like a container. I think they use it way back in the mills, mills where they process um, grains and all that. But it's kind of like a chamber. Yeah, like a chamber where they put fire in it and it 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 processes um grains in that time but this kind of fun is i think the way they they built it was to contain a human being so it's a big bit big and wide in capacity to contain three people at the same time now it's filled with fire like they said even the people that went to put them inside that fire the heat alone burnt them and they died. Now these men, Hebrew men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you can go and read the whole story. It's in Daniel 3. It's a very long chapter. I will not have time to read the whole thing this morning. It's in Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3, you can read it. 
these Hebrew men said, I, I think I need to read it because it's it's so it's so amazing when I read it. I'm like, wow. Sometimes we need to have this kind of strong, determined, dog don't get faith in God because he's indeed the God of miracles there's nothing he cannot do why do we have doubts why do we think twice when we are praying or when we are seeking his face on a particular issue or we are facing a challenge challenge and we feel like ah I don't know what's going to happen no this thing is is bothering me fine it will bother you are a human being it's not my you're not good god is not bothered you are the one that is bothered <laughs> praise the lord you are the one that is bothered god is not bothered is is waiting for you to seek his face and 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 seek rest in him because he's the god of miracles that which you think is difficult is a challenge means nothing to him <laughs> You are the one that is you are the one that is troubled in your heart. God is never troubled. No. No. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, let, let's quickly look at that verse where they said, even if our God will not deliver us. <laughs> that statement moved me. Oh my God. Even if our God will not deliver us, we will not bow. We will, we will not bow to this to your God. And he answered, let me see. Okay, here it is. Daniel 3, 16 to 18. That's the part I want us to bring out. It says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Of course, I'm reading an amplified classic. It says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, it is not, it is not necessary for us to answer you on this point. On this point, if our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace. He will deliver us out of your hand, O King. Verse 18. Hallelujah. But if not, but if not, in my language, it means Tiobashe, uh, Tioba, Shuban, but means Shuban, Shuban, Tiobashe. But if not, let it be known to you, O King, that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image which you have set up. That part is what I want us to think about this morning. The lesson here is, even though he's a God of miracles, even though he can do anything you desire, even though he can perform any kind of miracle you desire him to do in your life, he's a God of miracle. fine. He wants you to also know that even in your own capacity as a human being here on earth, you can become a miracle worker like him. You can become a miracle worker starting from this week. You know how I know? These three men became miracle workers through their lives, through their confession of faith. That how, that's how much they believed God that there is nothing he cannot do. And they now believe it to the extent that you know what? Even if this God that we say we believe in does not even save us at this point, we will still not do what you're asking us to do because we know the kind of God we serve. That is boldness. That is that is the height of 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 trust one can have in God. That God, though, we trust you. You can do this. But even if you don't do it, it doesn't change anything about me, about you in my life. It doesn't change anything. It does not move you away from your throne. It does not change the fact that you are still sitting on the throne. 
it does not change the fact that you are still God in my life. That you are still the owner of my life. These people were already they were doing miracles as they were talking here. These these three Hebrews. God is letting you know this morning. You yourself, you can become a miracle worker like him. You are a miracle and you are a living, breathing miracle. So, do you think you cannot perform miracles? You can. Because he's a God of miracles. If he's a God of miracles, then he created miracle children. He created children that can perform millions and better miracles than him. I want us to think deep about that this week as we enter this new week that Lord, you have created me. I am a miracle, a living, breathing one. I also want to do miracles for you. I also want to perform miracles for I want you to use my life to perform miracles in the life of others. Yes. You can perform miracles by introducing Christ to that person. By sharing the love of Christ, that is a miracle on its own. Winning soul for Christ. Our Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us again that you are the one that does all things. You are the one that is the miracle. You are the one behind the scenes. That even with you behind the scenes, we also can do exploits in your name. We can perform miracles in your name. Because we ourselves are living, breathing miracles. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Ancient of days, we adore you. Because there is none like you, Jehovah. You are mighty in this place. You are glorious. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. These magnificent and holy is your name this morning oh god we say thank you lord oh i say thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus blessed be your holy name you are good and your mercy endures forever oh thank you father blessed be your holy name Adoration be to your holy name. Honor be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that is within me. Blessed Lord, His holy name. As for oh, my soul, and all, and all that is within me, blessed be your name. Yeah. 
has done great things in my life, in my home, hallelujah. He has done great things in my family, hallelujah. He has done great things. Bless his home, his holy name. Holy, holy, are you the Lord? All creation called you the God. So worthy is your name. Oh, worthy is your name. Is your name. Your majesty, holy, are you Lord? All creation, for you, God, worthy is your name. Majesty, you are awesome, God. How great thou art! You are God, mighty are your miracles. I stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God, mighty are your miracles. I stand in Holy name, Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God, awesome how great God, how great Thou art! You are God, and mighty, mighty, mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe. Holy name, O oh Lord, I bow and worship you. How great, how great thou art! You are God. Mighty, mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe. Of your holy name, oh Lord, we bow and worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. There's none like you, Jehovah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a beautiful time in your presence. Thank you for reminding us once again that you are a God of miracles and you have created us as miracles and we can become a miracle worker to others around us. We can be a channel of miracle to other people be beside anyone that we find around us. We can become a channel of miracles to them. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Please accept our worship, accept our praises, accept our worship, accept our praises. Thank you for your word, O oh God. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone that joined us this morning. See you next Monday by God's grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, wait.